everybody, this is Organic Garmin. Today is Saturday, August 25th, and as you can see, we're making hay while the sun shines. Yep, the sun's been shining all day today, and so we started um, uh, chopping or third cutting hay, alfalfa hay, and um, right now, I guess, I don't know how well you can see, but yeah, the window's a little dusty there, but yeah, we're um, unloading actually this is the second load I'm putting into the bag so um, yeah so we're making we're making a little progress today uh, so far the third cutting it's really not yielding as good as it could be yielding um, obviously due to the lack of rain probably we had um, towards the beginning of August here um, kind of affected the, the yield a little bit um, obviously this field that's straight out from where we were bagging right over here. I think that fields, you know, it should do okay, you know um, A little bit better than other field we were just chopping on but uh, Yeah, so uh, Yeah, so that's what we've been up to uh, most of the afternoon and going into this evening. It's like uh, I don't know. It's like sometime after six o'clock. I don't know exactly what time it is but it's, it's after six o'clock in the evening that's all that's all I know but uh, yeah um, so far no breakdowns today um, we're actually just running uh, the one uh, tractor and, and whole type chopper um, the other the, the custom chopper guy that you know he when he comes here he normally likes to run the self propelled because um, you know he's older 84 years old and so you know he's got a stiff neck and so he doesn't like to look back all the time so you know but he'll let us run the pole type and stuff so that's what we're doing today he had to go to uh um he had to go to a baby shower for um one of his grandchildren just they had a baby so he's a, you know, one of his great grandchildren the baby shower that he had to go to today so he let us run the uh he's been letting us run the chopper so Actually, my brother is running the chopper, and then in the video or in the um, the video clip, um, the one uh, the person that was running the rake was actually my youngest brother. Yeah, he's a uh, he's a city slicker now. <laughs> he uh, he came home for the weekend from the, the big metropolis of Minneapolis, Minnesota. So. I don't, we still haven't forgotten how to run a tractor yet, I guess, so we put him to work. So uh, that, that was him running the, the uh, New Holland rake there. And uh, yeah, so, uh, yep, we've been busy today. Uh, I don't know, we're going to try to get this field over here, like I say, um, cut down tomorrow. Or to make, well, my brother, he's probably going to start cutting it down here in a little bit. I think he's almost done chopping another field. Uh, imagine he'll come out here and start chopping, or not chopping, um, just binding this field here. So, uh, yeah, so tomorrow we'll probably be chopping that field. That one field, we'll start chopping it anyway. So, um, yeah, the third cutting, like I say, it just isn't going to yield as good as it probably did last year. Actually, last year yielded better. Could have just could have used a tad bit more rain here in August, but we could still use more rain. I hope we get a good, you know, if we get a good rain, we'll get a good fourth cutting hay. And we, we like to get a fourth cutting. In years past, we've got a fifth cutting. I really like the fifth cutting hay because that is just mostly leaves. And the cows, they just eat that hay like cotton candy, you know. It's really good stuff. So. Yeah, uh, but yeah, other than that, um, I don't know, I can't think of anything else. I've just been doing this all day today, and it's, I don't think I've seen a cloud in the sky today. Uh, so yeah, it's, it hasn't, uh, it's been good, good drying weather today, so. Yeah, and in case you're wondering about the straw, no, we haven't got the straw bailed yet. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm probably gonna try to call the, that guy back about doing the doing the straw here again pretty soon. Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I'll give him a call. I guess we've just been kind of busy, anyways. So I think it's supposed to be sunny for a few days. So uh, yeah. But um. Yeah. Yeah, my brother, he's home for part of the weekend. My youngest brother, he's home for part of the weekend, and so I think we're going to put him to work. See what the city boys made out of <laughs> So, yeah. But, anyways, I'm going to keep getting this load unloaded here, and uh, then uh, I guess I'll get back with you after a little while. Whenever I get done unloading all these loads here, there's not too many, so. Anyways, I'll get back with you. Okay, everyone. Um, I got um, a little bit of a dilemma here. Um, I was unloading this load here. It was like the third load. And I was just ho humming along, unloading it. Everything's going along just fine. And then all of a sudden, um, uh, there's a shear pin down here in this shaft here and then it just all of a sudden um, you know just like broke off and so I don't know what to do and the biggest I mean it really wouldn't be an issue but the biggest problem is it's a metric bolt it's a metric I think grade 8 bolt and um, obviously it's supposed to be lined up um, like I gotta turn this and so um, honestly I got some you know this is a grade 5 I think bolt here and um, I don't know it won't fit in there so it must be uh, it must be metric um, or has, I mean, only a metric bolt will fit in there. And I don't know if this, uh, if this beggar, they have, there's a place where they have spare shear pins on here. I don't know. Maybe I had the pressure. I mean, I didn't have the pressure turned up too high. Um, I don't know why, but, um, I don't know. It's just, well, let's see. I just had I had it set up not even to a thousand maybe 900 psi on here I don't know why I really don't know why it should have whoa why it should have um did that I mean it was putting out um the bag you know it was filling out the bag really nice and everything and you know I don't, I don't know why it why it did that you know the stuff was a little bit dry so i was trying to pack it in there a little bit tighter and i just i i really don't know why i should have shared maybe the shear pin was getting weak but i don't know it just really irks me that's got to be a metric bolt um you know i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna lie i hate the metric system i'm a metric illiterate illiterate and I hate it. I like the standard system. Um, you know, this is America. Let's have <laughs> let's have the standard system. I said all this metric stuff, and um, this bolt won't fit in there. It's too it's too 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 big. And if I go to the next size, um, uh, this is what. Let's see, the next size. This is a eleven fits an eleven sixteenth wrench. So this is a. Uh, <sighs> seven no the next size smaller than this would be too small the next size of that would be a nine six or no, three eighths bolt I'm not sure what size this is um, I don't know if it's an 11 16th wrench but um, the next size smaller would fit a 5 eighths wrench and that would be there'd be too much slop in there so I really don't know what to put in there um i was a little concerned here too because i don't know this this um, universal joint up here was getting a little bit warm 
and last uh, the first cutting this one went out we had to replace that one and that is and it's a metric too <laughs> it's a metric u-joint um and so that that's that's what i don't like why do they put metric stuff on a an american-made product like this i don't know why because i mean metric it's just i don't i don't carry metric bolts because i just i just don't um but i guess i mean if i can't find something here i guess they'll have to Oh, I'll have to run, go to town tomorrow and go to a local farm store and get some metric bolts and and see, but I don't know. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm contending with right now. Um, I'm going to keep looking. Maybe I can find one. If I don't, I guess we'll just have to shut down for tonight and finish unloading it tomorrow. I hate to do that, but, but anyway, so I'm going to keep looking and I'll get back with you and let you know what I find out. Okay, everyone, as you just saw, um, that bolt sheared. Actually, um, I did try some like standard bolts. I tried like a 3 8 bolt, and I was wrong about that one other bolt I was trying earlier. That was a 7 16 um, standard bolt. So I did actually find a bolt. I was, I was thinking, you know, maybe this thing has something on here. Um, there's a spot right here. There's supposed to be more shear pins, and there was a bolt here. And I did find one, but it was it was a little bit long, but it's not grade eight. And I just tried it as you saw, and it just sheared the thing. So, um, so I guess I'm out of luck for tonight. The sun, the sun is already set in the west. Um, I don't even know what time it is. It's got to be <laughs> well. At least the sun is below the treetops, anyways. But it's it's got to be sometime after eight o'clock, eight fifteen or something right now. So. I guess tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, so I'll just have to uh, try it again tomorrow. Um, we'll have to go to the farm store tomorrow when it opens up. I think it opens up like at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. So maybe we'll just, I'll go to the farm store and see if I can find, hopefully they have that bolt. And it's, I hope it's not like a rare metric bolt, but if they don't have it, uh, maybe I'll have to try the auto parts store in town too and see if they have a, a bolt like that but sometimes those metric bolts that are grade 8 like that are certain size are kind of rare so anyway so I guess I'm I'm done for the day so that's how my day ends today um, at least bagging and that's all we got um, that's all the bag we got filled I mean I have basically another wagon and a half yet to unload so so anyways that's the hole up i don't know like i say i was trying to pack it in there a little bit tighter because the hay was a little dry i had it packed about i don't know 900 800 psi but i suppose the bolt was just getting weak and so i just gave out so i guess it is what it is and tomorrow is another day um yes we'll be working on sunday again um you gotta make like i say got to make hay while the sun shines so it is what it is and you just gotta you gotta deal with what you're dealt you know you know you just gotta deal with whatever you whatever happens sometimes but anyways so anyways it's not a big deal this is your pin hopefully we can find one so anyways um with that i'm just gonna let you guys all go and I got to get started with some chore, evening chores here. So um, anyways, <clears throat> first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for watching. And uh, and I want to thank you ever, to everybody that has subscribed to my channel. And if you have not hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below and I will do my best to um, respond back to your questions and um, and check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman and um, I guess that's everything so I will catch you later